Hello. We are discussing about Gate 1994 EC paper, and the topic we are discussing is electronic devices. This is first one mark question, uh, first five mark question, came in 1994 Gate. Show that the minimum conductivity of an extrinsic silicon sample occurs when it is slightly p-type. Calculate the electron and hole concentrations when the conductivity is minimum. Given parameters are mu n, 1350 cm square per volt second, mu p, 450 cm square per volt second, and the intrinsic carrier concentration, ni. 1.5 into 10 power 10 centimeter cube per centimeter cube so we need to show minimum conductivity is going to be taking place whenever it is slightly p type and also we need to calculate the electron and hole concentration for the given parameters we will see how to solve this problem <coughs> the given information is mu n is given as 1350 mu p is given as 450 centimeter square per volt second Ni intrinsic carrier concentration for silicon it is 1.5 into 10 power 10. All these values are related to the silicon. And we know the conductivity of semiconductor depends on both electrons and holes. So that sigma of semiconductor is nq mu n plus pq mu p. So we can calculate the minority carriers if you know majority carriers otherwise if you know majority carriers you can calculate minority carriers by using mass action law so here assume that one we know the electron concentration and we can calculate the whole concentration using this equation so that nq mu n plus p instead of p we are writing it as ni square by n that is using the mass action law it states that one under thermal equilibrium conditions the product of total electron concentration and hole concentration is always constant it is equal to square of intrinsic carrier concentration so that is nothing but n into p is equal to ni square that is what mass action law so from that one we can write p is equal to ni square by n so p will be replaced with ni square by n q into mu p now this semiconductor is almost an entire consisting of only electron component. So the conductivity of semiconductor will be minimum for some concentration of electron that is for some n. That n we are assuming that one n0. Let us assume that one for n is equal to n0 the conductivity will be minimum. So N0 is the electron concentration at which the conductivity is going to be minimum. So general equation to find the minimum conductivity is nothing but dou sigma by dou N is equal to 0. Whatever the N value it yields using this derivation, that N value is denoted with N0. Because we are going with dou sigma by dou N0 is equal to 0, that gives minimum conductivity at electron concentration n naught so dou sigma by dou n that is what we are writing n q mu n plus n i square by n into q into mu n q will be taken common so what you are getting is n mu n into n i square by n into mu p is equal to 0 n n is nothing but differentiation is 1 so simply you are writing q n for this product and 1 by n differentiation is minus 1 by n square so here instead of n we are writing it as n naught because where you are getting the minimum conductivity into n i square into mu p q will be if you are taking that side it will become 0 so you will get mu n is equal to 1 by n naught square into n i square into mu p so from this you can write for n naught n naught square is n i square into mu p by mu n n naught is nothing but n i into mu p by mu n so for this concentration of electron whenever n0 value is going to be equal to ni into square root of mu p by mu n if the concentration of electrons is this much at that time that is going to be giving the minimum conductivity similarly we can do it for the p type that is for holes also what is the hole concentration at which 
it yields a minimum conductivity. <coughs> so we know the conductivity of semiconductor n q mu n plus p q mu p. Now replace n using mass action law so that it will be n i square by p into q into mu n plus p q mu p. Assume p naught is going to be the whole concentration at which minimum conductivity is going to be resulting. Assume p naught is the minimum whole concentration at which that gives the minimum conductivity. p naught is the whole concentration at which minimum conductivity results. So dou sigma by dou p is equal to zero. That is again this condition yields the value of whole concentration at which minimum conductivity results. That value we can say it as p naught after doing the differentiation. So dou sigma by dou p is again we are going for the same thing dou by dou p of n i square by p into q into mu n plus p q mu p. For that one, we can take q common and apply the differentiation. So it is n i square into mu n into one by p differentiation is minus one by p naught square plus q already taken out. So out of p into mu p, p differentiation is one. So we will get only mu p. From this one, we can write mu p is equal to one by p naught square into mu n into n i square. Otherwise, p naught square is equal to n i square into mu n by mu p. P naught is equal to n i into mu n by mu p, at which minimum conductivity results. So we have calculated two values. One is n naught, the other is p naught. So at which whole concentration, at which electron concentration, minimum conductivity results. By looking at these two concentrations, these are the two equations for n naught and p naught. By looking at these two equations, we can say whether the semiconductor is n type or p type. Try to say if you know if a semiconductor is having n naught and p naught as concentrations. By that time, identify whether it is n type or p type or intrinsic. Closely observe the equation. Both are consisting of n i. And n i is multiplying with square root of one is with mu p by mu n, the other is with square root of mu n by mu p. And mu p is mobility of hole, mu n is mobility of electron. And we know that one for semiconductor, electron mobility is larger than hole mobility. Electron mobility is larger than hole mobility. So if you are going for this first equation n naught, denominator is large, mu n is greater than mu p. So what you will get is nothing but this term is going to be lesser than one. So lesser than one into n i. So n naught will be less than n i. So electron concentration is less than intrinsic carrier concentration. If you are looking at p naught, mu n by mu p, mu n is greater than mu p. So the square root will yield greater than one. Greater than one is nothing but p naught is greater than n i. So holes are slightly larger than n i. Whereas electrons are slightly lesser than n i, so here hole concentration is more than electron concentration. So this gives hole concentration is more is nothing but holes are dominating over electrons. That is nothing but it is slightly p type. So we know mu p less than mu n for a semiconductor. That is nothing but from that equations n naught is lesser than n i and p naught is greater than n i. So from that one we can say the semiconductor. Is going to be of slightly p type to get the minimum conductivity. So minimum conductivity is going to be resulting when the semiconductor is slightly p type. From these two equations, we can observe. Now we are going to calculate n naught and p naught values for the given mu n, mu p, and n i. So these are the equations. <coughs> conductivity is minimum when p naught is equal to n i into square root of mu n by mu p. So substitute those values. You are getting it as 2.59 into 10 power 10, whereas n i is 1.5 into 10 power 10, just slightly greater than by n i. Okay. Next, n naught can be calculated either two ways. One is using mass action law, that is n i square by p naught. By that time, you will get it as 0.866 into 10 power 10. Otherwise, you may get the equation. Using n naught is equal to n i into square root of mu p by mu n. Both will be giving the same value. You can calculate electron concentration either using mass action law 
or by using the equation for the minimum conductivity so we have shown um, minimum conductivity of a semiconductor occurs when it is slightly p type and we have already we have seen how to calculate the electron and hole concentrations at which minimum conductivity results thank you